Okay, so we're going to talk about the RAA system in our body and the reason that we're going to talk about the RAA system and cover in our video is that it will help to better understand the angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor medications, ARPs, which is also called as an angiotensin 2 receptor blockers and renin antagonist. So if you have a better understanding of the RAA system in your body, it will really help you to understand these three pharmacological classes of drugs. And it will be helpful to understand the side effects. Why do we have those side effects? And why do we use this medication for the particular diseases? So let's go to the next slide and have a take a look at the RAA system. So this diagram is basically presenting the RAA system. It may look complicated at first look, but it's not really. So the, if you look at the renin enzyme right here, we have a renin enzyme that gets secreted by the kidneys when our kidney doesn't get enough blood flow or due to the blood pressure fall or if we have a blood loss or could be different reasons that our kidney is not getting enough blood flow or if our body doesn't have uh, enough sodium to reabsorb the water, the kidney is not getting enough blood flow. Then there is a specialized cell in the kidney that's going to release renin. Now what this renin going to do, it's going to convert angiotensinogen protein, which is in the inactive form in our blood, to angiotensin 1. So the the work of the uh, renin it's going to convert angiotensinogen to the angiotensin two, uh, 1. Now when the angiotensin 1 goes to the lungs through the bloodstream the enzyme here it's called ACE inhibitor right here in the lungs going to convert this angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. So this is the enzyme which is really important to remember this is going to help you in the ACE inhibitor so this called angiotensin converting enzyme which is present in the lung now when it when angiotensin 1 gets converted into the angiotensin 2 angiotensin 2 has many effects on our body the first effect, when you take a look, it's going to increase the sympathetic system. All right. So when it does increase the sympathetic system, nervous system, it's going to increase the vasoconstriction. If you really know your sympathetic nervous system, it's going to increase, it's going to cause the vasoconstriction and it's going to increase the blood pressure. When there is an increase in the blood pressure, kidney is going to get enough blood flow. That's how kidney is going to get reperfuse. Now the second action this angiotensin 2 have is on the kidney tubules where it's going to increase the reabsorption of sodium and it's going to increase the excretion of potassium. Now when it increases the reabsorption of sodium it's going to increase the H2O retention basically the water retention when that happens it's going to increase blood volume blood volume increases when the blood volume increases it's going to increase the blood pressure and that's how it's going to call um, that's how the kidney is going to get reperfused which is the main problem why the renin got secreted it also has effect on the adrenal gland as well Angiotensin 2 is going to go to the adrenal gland and it's going to increase the secretion of aldosterone, which is basically going to do the same thing, increase the sodium reabsorption and it's going to increase the potassium excretion. Sodium reabsorption is going to increase the water reabsorption as well. It's going to increase the blood volume. And the final effect that angiotensin 2 has is on the collecting ducts of the kidney. While collecting ducts gonna is main site where all the um, water excretion or the reabsorption happens. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna go to the pituitary gland, gonna increase the secretion of ADH, which is also called as anti 
diuretic hormone what's this antidiuretic hormone is gonna do it's gonna increase the water reabsorption in the kidney and it's gonna increase blood volume and that's how it's gonna uh, the kidney is gonna get reperfused so this is how basically the RAA system works so have a better understanding of the RAA system and then we can understand ACE inhibitors, ARBs inhibitors, and renin antagonist medication very easily, which we're going to cover in the following presentation. If you have any question about RAA system, then you can email us or contact us. Thanks.